Hey guys, Scarter here again from Inside Graphics, and this time I'm going to be showing you a. I'm going to be doing another Photoshop tutorial. Um, the Photoshop I'm using is CS4. You can do this with CS5, but it may be slightly different. So if you are using CS5, I suggest you do another tutorial or try and find your own way of doing it. So it's just going to be an effect like this, really. I notched this one up in about five minutes after just learning how to do it, and I thought. It's a good tutorial to do, so I'm just going to delete everything there, and hopefully I'll remember how to do it. <laughs> so I need to make a new layer, we're going to call it Bocky, because that's what it's called. And the effect Bocky, it comes from the effects that, if it's like a blur in the background of a picture, it's called block Bocky anyway. So I'm going to set my um, resolution to my desktop settings so 1280 by 800 and you can leave everything the rest as part apart from background color you need that as white so now that we've done that we need to unlock this layer by double clicking it and pressing ok and we'll go to our brush tool now the brush tool needs to be set at about 250 um, diameter and 100% hardness now what we can do if you haven't got this section over here press F5 um, or you can just go to that button like I said or you can go to window and brushes to activate that button so now that we've done that we need to add it so it does the dots so first thing we'll be using is shape dynamics um, we just need to click that once scattering scattering we need on a thousand percent we need other dynamics which will set to fifty fifty percent now shape dy dynamics um, it's ideal to put it about 100% maybe and that's it really now if you're on CS5 there will be another button called transform or something I don't know um, anyway you'll just have to use that button instead of other dyma uh, dynamics I think so first of all what we're going to do is we're going to draw a straight line across our screen um, obviously it's not going to be straight it's going to be scattered just do that again and we'll fill in any blanks which are free now we'll go to filter sorry I, I'll just go back again I was meant to do that on a new layer sorry so cross again so we'll go to filter blur Gaussian blur and first of all we need that up to 50 now that's just creating the background for us now the next one we need to put it at about 200 um, this this um, 200 one we need to do the same again just scatter it across the screen and fill in any blanks um, Hold on two seconds, guys. Sorry, it's just Lloyd. <laughs> and we need to go to Blur, Gaussian Blur, and we need it on about 30% this time. Now that we've done that, we need our last layer. Now our last layer, we can put the brush size down to 100. And we just need to dot around all over the screen, because this is going to be our last one. Now that we've done that, we need to create a new layer on top of that we need to set our gradient we can do this by um, double clicking there or clicking once and we need to add more colors to add more colors you just go underneath the line and click um, I've already got my colors set up the first one you'll need is if you type in here FF00F0 zero zero F zero. Second one is pure red, which is FF0000. Zero 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 zero. Next one is 00FF36. Zero zero and the next one is 00F0FF. Zero 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 ff. So now that we've done that, we need to do a clean, straight, linear wipe across the page. Or you can do it diagonally, depending on how you want it. And we need to change this. Um, we need to change this blending mode. Sorry, 
just have to figure out what it was called then. And we need to put it on overlay or soft light, depending on how you want it. I choose the overlay because it's a stronger colour. Now that we've done that, you're probably thinking it's a bit bright. Um, we can merge all these layers by pressing pressing and holding shift on the top layer and clicking the bottom layer and then clicking control and E or right clicking and merging layers or if you're using a Mac command and E <laughs> um, now we can change the background colour to black and we can change that to white if you like it that way personally I don't think it's that nice that way so I'm going to change it back and on the dotted layer we need to bring the opacity down simply because it'll look a lot cleaner so that's all really, that's the Bucky effect, um, just done simply to make it a sort of background. Um, so yeah, thanks for subscribing if you already have, thanks for watching, um, and there will be more tutorials soon, so make sure you subscribe. Thank you.